And a very good Saturday to you. I'm CNY Central First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens checking out the almanac numbers. You know, typically this time of year we're hanging out in the mid to upper 70s, and we're probably going to be a good 10 degrees below that today for a high temperature in the wake of that initial, the primary cold front that passed through yesterday. And then there's a secondary cold front that's going to work through today as well. Not necessarily a huge temperature change from one side of the sink to the other, but it will likely reinforce the cooler, drier air mass that has built its way in. 56 degrees is our typical low for this time of the year, and we're probably going to end up a little bit below that coming up again tonight. Many of us ended up in the 40s early on this morning for early morning lows, probably going to once again end up in the upper 40s to the lower 50s, depending on where you are in the viewing area. Coming up early Sunday morning, 95 degrees is our record high. That one is definitely staying safe today. That was set back in 1988. Record low is 43, set back in 1970. That also has remained safe. Our sunrise 524, sunset 845. And yesterday, you may recall along the cold front, we had uh, severe thunderstorms, and one of those storms did hit the Syracuse Hancock Airport, dumped a pretty good amount of rainfall in a fairly short amount of time, just shy of four tenths of an inch of rain officially picked up at the Syracuse Hancock Airport. So here's a day cast, get you through the rest of today. Going to be breezy, a mix of clouds and a few breaks of sun. Most of us end up dry. However, if you're up to the north and northeast of Syracuse, uh, even I'd say north and northeast of Onondaga County, better prospects of popping off an odd sprinkle or light shower today. Otherwise breezy, cooler and noticeably drier. Uh, significantly less humid today. 68 degrees are forecasted high. Here's a future cast around 8 o'clock this morning. You can see that primary or initial cold front that has passed us by to the east now. And uh, that's that's good news for a more comfortable air mass building in. However, there's a reinforcing disturbance here. And along that it's going to be clouds, few breaks of sun and wash up to the north. See how these sprinkles and light showers drift through. Again, that's up to the north and and northeast of the greater Syracuse area, looking up towards the North Country, for example. Better prospects of popping off one of those odd sprinkles or light showers today. That particular boundary clears us, and we're into mainly clear skies this evening and overnight. Maybe a little bit of light patchy fog around as well. And then through the day Sunday for Father's Day, looking fine. Mostly sunny skies, pleasant temperatures, pretty close to standard stuff for this time of the year in the upper 70s, near 80, and fairly low humidity as well, and not all that breezy to boot, so an excellent day if you have any outdoor plans for Father's Day on Sunday. So hour by hour through this morning, a mix of clouds and a few breaks of sun. We're up to 58 by 11 o'clock, topping out this afternoon only at 68 degrees. Again, that's a good almost 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Clouds, few breaks of sun, best chance of an odd sprinkler light shower is going to be the farther north and northeast you head from Onondaga County. Winds northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so it will be breezy at times today. Heading into this evening, Mainly clear skies developing, maybe some light patchy fog. Overnight lows are near 50, so a little below average for this time of the year. Here's a seven day forecast for Father's Day. Sunday, mostly sunny at 79. 88 degrees for Monday, early sun, then increasing cloudiness. An isolated afternoon shower or thunderstorm at 88 degrees. It'll, it's going to be a little muggy as well by late day Monday. For Tuesday, 86 degrees. I think we're in between systems, so we'll call it just a, a mix of sun and clouds for Tuesday. Wednesday, Scattered showers and thunderstorms early on, tapering off, turning isolated by late day. 83 degrees are high. Thursday, Friday, neither day a wash, just a chance of an isolated shower storm as we currently see it with temperatures near 80.